Mr. Beer Claw here, and about to go into another uh, little dungeon that I found, Dead Man's Dredge. Now this one should be more fun since now I actually have an array of abilities that I've unlocked, and it's not just one boring old piddly one arrow at a time bow action crap that it was in the last one. See, that's more fun already. Starting to get a little more of that Demon Hunter vibe that I mentioned that I liked from Diablo 3. I need more energy. See, I got that super repetitive strike. That was the bread and butter in Diablo 3 with that Demon Hunter. Shot to death with a very large amount of arrows. Keep forgetting I have that teleport strike move. It is handy and it does a lot of damage and I'm just not forgetting about it. Getting all kinds of good loot in here. Gotten the sword, that sounds fun. Hopefully it's something I can use with the rogue, otherwise I'll just have to throw it in the stash. Use it on another class and I'll try it out. I need more time. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. Ah. 
got back in, and now it's having me in Dead Men's Stretch here after I got back. It is having me free prisoners. Seems like they're all in fairly close proximity. Check it out. Got the prisoner. Or not. I still have been having too much difficulty on the veteran or whatever harder tier that it allows you to play. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that is a nice temporary perk that just gave me. Godaldon arrows that machine. Bigger than I expected it to be. <laughs> Slow poke. Two more prisoners to go. We almost got them all freed in this year dungeon. Did I imagine we get to fight some nice big guy? Well, On enemies. I don't like that. Thank you. One more prisoner. Dungeon complete. Oh, that was a fun dungeon. And this has been Mr. Beerclaw. Going through the Diablo 4 beta play here with a rogue character. Hope that was cool to watch now that I have a few more abilities to use. Thank you for watching.